Rob's World. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my tutorial for the... The Ninja Knot. In my last video, I asked you whether you wanted to see the Ninja Knot or the Paper Popper, and although the votes came pretty close, more people wanted to see the Ninja Knot. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. If I do have some time this weekend, I will teach how to make the Paper Popper. The Ninja Knot is officially called Ian's Knot because it was invented by Ian Fegan and was officially released to the internet back in 2000. I learned it from his website, which you can check out by clicking the link down in the video description below. It's the world's fastest shoelace knot, and it's not only great for tying shoelaces, but you saw you can also tie other things as well. So once you're ready to go, grab your shoes and we'll get started. That way we can avoid things like this. Was it bunny ear left right? What did mom show me? Uh, come on. Uh, get it. To make things easier for you to see in the tutorial, I put a white lace in the shoe uh, as well as the blue one that I already had. Now for the Ninja Knot, uh, just like for any other knot that you would use uh, for your shoe, we need to have what's called a starting knot. The starting knot for the Ninja Knot requires that you take the left lace, you put it over the right lace, and then you pull the left lace underneath it, just like that. That's called the starting knot. If you were to take the right lace, put it on top of the left lace, and then tuck the right one underneath, the ninja knot would still come out, except it would come out crooked, and it would come undone a little bit easier. That's called the granny knot, and it's just because of the way that the laces line up. So for the purposes of the ninja knot, we're going to take the left lace, put it on top of the right lace, and we're going to tuck the left one underneath and pull. Now that we have our starting knot, we can get to doing the ninja knot. For the ninja knot, what we're going to do is we're going to take both of our hands and you're going to use the last three fingers to grab onto both laces like this, okay? So hold on to both laces and you want to leave a little bit of space between your hands and the shoe. Maybe uh, if you extend your thumbs, it should be about that length, all right? Now you want to have your pointer and thumbs free. Holding both of the strings like this, you're going to take the pointer and thumb of your right hand, tuck it underneath from the front like this and face it away from you. You're going to take the pointer and thumb of your left hand and you're going to tuck it underneath from the back, from this way, and you're going to point it towards you. Okay? Now this is important. So it needs to be that way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist both of our hands so that we join and meet up our pointers and thumbs. Now what we're going to do with our right hand is we're going to take our pointer and thumb and we're going to grab onto this white lace, the lace in between my left pointer and left thumb. This portion right here is where I'm going to grab, okay? Now what I'm going to do with my left hand is I'm going to take my pointer and I'm going to push down right on top of my right pointer finger, right where this blue lace is lying. And I'm going to take that blue lace and I'm going to pull it through underneath the white lace. Once I pull it through, I'm going to take my left thumb and I'm going to pinch it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull both ends. And as you'll see, that's the ninja knot.
All right, so you guys know me. I like to go through things in super detail because, um, you know, I'm not there to see whether or not you understand. So I have to make sure that this video explains everything in a clear manner so that everyone can understand it and, uh, you know, they should be able to get it from this video. To untie the knot, we just pull on the loose ends like that, just like you would for a regular knot. And here is our starting knot, so you can just untie that as well. So from the beginning, again, the left lace goes on top of the right lace like that and the left lace gets tucked underneath the right lace and pulled through. Then you can tighten it and that's our starting knot. Once again, we grab both laces with our last three fingers. Make sure it's a pretty snug or tight pull. Okay, free pointers and thumbs. On the right side, it goes underneath and faces away from us like that. Left side underneath and faces towards us. Okay. Shift things so that we join our pointers and thumbs. Grab the portion on my left hand in between my pointer and thumb with my right pointer and thumb, just like this. Now, my left pointer is going to grab the portion of lace that's lying on top of my right pointer. So, you could basically let go with the last three fingers on the right hand. And you're going to pull that portion underneath that white lace there and you're just going to pull those two loops apart and there you go you should have it now if you were to grab both ends and let's say you go under like this you go from your both hands are facing away from you well you could still line it up but when you go to do the ninja knot you'll see you'll get something like this and you'll be like what's going on well that's because you can't join it like that you need to make sure that the hands are in opposite directions Grab the laces, right hand's facing away, left hand is facing towards you, okay? Bring them together, grab this portion, and grab that portion, and pull. So when you get pretty quick at it, you'll see it's, it's a pretty efficient knot. And I don't tie my shoes any other way besides this way because there's no reason to. It, uh, it's a very snug knot and it's tight and it won't come undone, especially if you uh, make sure that you're doing the proper starting knot. So again, got them both underneath and grab. There you go. So hopefully you guys understood it from that video. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comments section below. And uh, have fun breaking world records with the uh, new shoe tying method that you learned. I call it the Ninja Knot, but as you're well aware, it is invented by Ian Fegan and is also known as Ian's Knot. So thank you very much, Ian Fegan, for creating such an awesome knot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for further notification.